There are so many beautiful panels now. Now with some of them being printed digitally, the colors are endless and the pictures are intricate and beautiful. Why don't we make an apron out of a panel? Let me show you how to do it. This, this apron has side panels and crisscross on the back that fits everyone. So I'm Lori from Lori's Country Cottage and welcome to How Tuesday. So let's make an apron out of a panel. There's an abundance of panels now from printed, regular printed, to beautiful digitally printed ones. They come in a variety of widths and are available in sports, children's, to beautiful flowers and, and, and delightful scenes. So let's make an apron. Trim and square your panel width using the print on the panel as your guide. The maximum width for your apron is 28 inches. If your panel is wider than 28, decide what you want to trim off. If it's less than 28, trim it to what you want in your apron. The apron front length requires 32 inches for ladies and 38 inches for men. If your panel is 45 inches or running salvage to salvage, you will need to decide what part of the panel you do not want on your apron and trim it accordingly. You'll need to cut three, three and a half inch width of, by width of fabric of your back fabric for your straps. Measure the width of your apron after you've got it trimmed. If it's less than 28 inches, you'll need to do some simple math to calculate what to cut for the back. Subtract your final panel width from 28 inches. So in my example, it's 21 and 3 quarter inches. So if I subtract that from 28, it gives me a difference of 6 and a quarter inches. So what I'll want to do is take 28 plus 28, what the width of your apron is, plus 6 and a quarter inches, giving me a backing cut of 34 and a quarter inches. If, a pa if your panel is 28 inches or you've trimmed it to be 28 inches, cut your back piece to be 28 inches as, wide, as well. Cut the length for the ladies panel at 32 inches and the men's at 38. Join one side of your panel to the backing on the length of it on the 32 or the 38 inch length. Press your seam allowance towards the dark. Repeat steps one and two with the opposite 32 and 38 inch length to make a tube. Turn it right side out, press both to the dark or to the back. Match the seams to find the center of the panel and the back. So if you match your seams, fold, fold your piece, find the center, and make a small press there with your iron or mark it. If your panel is 28 inches and your back are 28, the seams will be on the edge. Otherwise, match the centers and press your seams out. Match the center marks to the center of your panel and the back to create the border edges of your panel. Measure the border edges of each of your panel to be sure that you are straight. Join all three strap strips by sewing a, a line diagonally to create one long strip. Trim leaving the seam allowance on each of those diagonal seams. Press the seams to one side, fold right sides together, and stitch all the way around. Clip the corners 
and cut in half to make two straps. Use a bodkin or a pin to turn the tubes to create two straps. Press and top stitch the straps. From the unfinished end of the strap, cut a two and a half inch piece for the tabs from each of the straps. Set these aside. Turn the apron wrong side out and fold the apron unit in half on the length. From the top edge, the unfolded edge, measure and mark nine inches, nine and a half inches along the top edge of the apron. From the same corner, measure down 11 and three quarter inches and mark. Line up a ruler on the 45 degree line with the 45 degree line along the unfolded edge of the apron. Place another ruler against its edge, as you see in the image from the top, aligning the corner of the unfolded edge of the apron with the end of the ruler. Measure down 10 and a half inches and mark. Now you want to join these marks to create the curve for the armhole of the apron. Cut out on that line through the folded layers to ensure that both curves are the same. Insert the open end of the straps a quarter inch in to allow for the apron seam allowance and baste in place. Pin around the curves and across the top and stitch careful not to catch the straps in the side seams. Stitch the bottom of the apron, leaving it open about six inches to turn. Press the apron bottom seam allowance open to make it easy to finish when turned. Pin, turn the apron and pin the opening closed from the right side. You can hand stitch this closed. Or machine stitch it closed in the next step. Top stitch around the apron and if you haven't hand stitch the opening closed, close it with the top stitching. Measure in two inches from the side of the apron at the bottom of the arm curve. Place a tab from step 13 on the back of the apron even with the quarter inch line on the ruler as in the diagram. Stitch in place. Fold the opposite edge of the strap back a quarter inch and press. Press the tab toward the outer edge of the apron and top stitch close to the folded edge of the apron. Top stitch again on both seams to enclose the unfinished edges. Repeat on the other side. Just crisscross the straps and tuck them in through the tabs and then when you want to wear the apron, you slide it over your head with the crisscross and tie it in the back. So we have a pattern for this apron. You don't need the pattern. You can follow along here. It's the same pictures, but if you are interested in a pattern, there is a pattern available at Lori's Country Cottage. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your panel apron. Bye for now. I'm Lori from Lori's Country Cottage.